All right, Eddie, let's plant some plants. You gonna help me? Yeah, All as right. long as you let me keep a plant. Okay. It's springtime, and this week the whole family is pitching in to give this house a fresh new look. The weather is incredible, and there's nothing more fun than to pull out the rakes and shovels and get outdoors. I recently picked up some fresh plants at the nursery and we'll show you exactly what we're planning to freshen up our landscape for summer on this episode of Rundown Reborn. Welcome to the Rundown Reborn channel. The boys were both very enthusiastic about firing up the leaf blower. No arm twisting was necessary to get them willing to jump into this day's chore. Last summer we all planted a lot of landscaping. And my wife and I are equally enthusiastic about how healthy and resilient they are proving to be this spring. They are thriving almost as much as the dandelion thistles. So did you guys get some ice cream? Yeah. yeah. And a shower. All right, Eddie, let's plant some plants. You gonna help me? Yeah, All as right. long as you let me keep a plant. Okay. These are the hanging baskets. They're gonna go up on the porch. Do you want to practice your reading? What, are, what is this kind? Purple heart. A purple heart. And then we've got some of these. What's that say? Petunia. That's a petunia. So we're gonna put some of those in there with it. Can you tell what these are? Vinca. 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 So we've yeah. got some vinca, some petunia, purple heart, then we've got some of this. Can you tell what that is? Verbena. Verbena. This is going to spill over the basket. So let's go ahead and get this put in.
Now for these, I'm gonna do something a little different. The uh, centerpiece I've got is what's called a Junkus. And I wanna put this one in the center. So that should give me some volume in the center. Now what I've got to put around that, I've got some salvia, or what's also known as dwarf red. And I wanna put a few of these around the perimeter of this. Really give it some color and some additional height in the center. Along with that, I wanna use a few of these. These are some basic marigolds. The yellow color should go nice with the red. All right, we've got our marigolds put in place. I've also got here some verbena. Put a few of these in here. More towards the outside edge. All right, we're looking really good there. The last thing I want to put in is some alyssum. It's just going to spill over and fill out quite a bit and uh, really give it some good volume and make it look really cool. Okay, I think we're pretty full now. Last year I had some creeping phlox in here. It's a perennial. I grew it in here and then basically used that, split it up, and distributed it out here along the front of my planters. And I think we're ready for water, Ed. I'm right here. I'll give that a little water. Those are gonna be so pretty when they grow out. Now for these last couple of pots, I'm gonna do something a little different. The first thing I wanna put in here is my centerpiece. What I've got for some height is some grass here. This is a Dracaena. This should grow up about two feet tall and we're gonna put that right in the center. Then I've got a couple of little grasses here just to fill in as a base. These are Carex. They're an Evershine. I'm just gonna put two of these in here next to this grass just to provide a little base for the rest of the color. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and work around the perimeter. I've got some more salvia to put in here, some more vinca, and some more verbena. The verbena, I'm gonna put around the perimeter, and the red and white salvia and vinca, I'm gonna put around inside the center. Here, I'm not gonna do anything too symmetrical. I prefer a much more natural look. There we go, very nice. Now, for the last part, get this verbena in here. This will provide some fill around the perimeter. Let it go ahead and drape and spill out. Bring a little more dirt in here. That is looking super. Now, I probably packed more in here than I really need, but we'll see how it turns out. I love full pots. Crazy. Three days ago, the kids were asking me to fill up their pool. Today it's snowing. Of course, the snow didn't last long, and by the next day, our lovely spring had returned. I am always amazed at just how much impact our little bit of landscaping has on the overall impression of our home. For our yard, we chose to focus on a mix of colors and a natural park-like arrangement of the plants. 
Each day there are more blooms than the day prior, and the foliage just keeps getting thicker and thicker. I just can't wait to see what kind of changes will occur as a brand new summer approaches. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.